in this, when was the function concave up or concave down? So again, this is the derivative, uh, or this is the second derivative of our function f of x, right? So we know the second derivative, concavity, uh, it's concave up. The function is concave up when the second derivative is positive. So what values do we have, for what intervals do we have something that's positive? Well, from negative, from negative 7 to 5, is the, is the second derivative function positive? Yeah. Again, we're not looking at slopes. We're looking at the values. So we can say that the graph of um, f is concave up on the interval negative 7 to negative 5, union negative 1 to 7, because the second derivative values are positive. And we could say f is concave down on the intervals negative 5 to negative 1, because these values of the second derivative are below the x-axis. They're negative. So if you wanted, so if I asked you and I said from the first derivative, okay. So remember the first derivative is saying. So now, if we're, how does the first derivative relate to the second derivative? Well, the second derivative is the slopes of the first derivative, correct? So let's look at the slopes um, of where. If we're talking about now, this is the first derivative graph, right? Um, so now what we're doing is we're looking at as the basically the slopes. So we have that possible inflection point changes from a negative to a positive. 